Hey, yo, what up, it's Don. Same Lee here. We are the Soul Brothers. How are you guys doing? Back with uh, does it still basketball? another does it still basketball. I mean, I thought, like, I didn't even know this was a basketball shoe that basketball players played in. Yeah. Because, like, I thought it was the one with the canvas material. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You the know? chucks. The chucks, yeah. but this is That's leather. That's old school, chucks. So this is newer, this is, this but is this newer. is still the 80s, though. Yeah, but this is read. like, you know, it looks, it reminds me a lot of a Jordan 1. Yeah, it does. Right? So it's like kind of that era. And, you know, a lot of players were wearing Converse. Converse was like a basketball shoe company at, at one point. And most players wore them. And so this was uh, Magic Johnson's shoe, right? Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. And Larry Bird. Uh, this two is bitter what they rivals. wore. Yes. Yeah, this is what they wore, not their shoe, maybe. Um, and this is called The Weapon. This is by Converse. And shout out to, what's his name, Steve? Steven. Steven sent these over. He was kind enough. He was with his girl. And he, <laughs> he was with his he, girl. He was, that's what he said. And <laughs> yeah. he, he sent them to our P.O. box. And he said, I got these for a crazy steal. And it's something different. And it's dope. It is something different. Yes. You know what I mean? It's cool to see an old all school black. basketball shoe like this. All black. Blackout colorway. And he just sent us over for free. So, shouts out to him. Do you guys want to send anything over it? P.O. box is in the description. Alright. So, you have been balling in these. <laughs> What's the consensus? Let's talk about the traction. Okay, so I've been balling in these and... Alright, so let's just start it off with the traction. Does it still basketball? This is really weird because like it, it, it's like exactly the same thing as the 31s. Really? As in like, it slides. Wow. But not, not, not as bad, but yeah. it still slides and it's pretty bad, you know what and I'm saying? And it's squeaky as hell. It's very squeaky, just like the Jordan ones. Yeah. Those are squeaky too. 31 Jordan 31 super squeaky so I don't know what what it is I think it's a rubber compound but um, yeah stopping power is not this is not the best because um, I do slide just like I said but um, it's not like as bad as the Jordan 31 level, but it's squeaky you know so at least you'll be loud in the gym yes and it's good for outdoors it's good for outdoors so, you know back in the day they were all built for outdoor use yes and dust does get stuck on it so I did have to wipe a uh, good amount so yeah. Um, yeah traction was just okay and what about this stellar cushion you hear that it's just straight up rubber guys it's just straight rubber I don't know how people played in that but you know uh, this is the go fuck yourself cushion yes you know what I mean just just get on the court and hoop and stop being a bitch and and then it has a I'm pretty sure this is Luna one yeah it is because this is the same uh, drop in this is the same little insole that was that's in like the um, uh, what shoe is it the Roshis mm, the Roshis don't have the Luna one no but this is a Luna one insole yes I think it, I don't know. It doesn't it say Lunar It feels like Lunar Lana. Lana. If, if, if it was Lunar Lana, they would tell you, you know? Right. So I don't know if it is, but it's 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 like a soft little kind of thing. Yeah. Um, It doesn't say it. There's anything. some writing on here. Yeah. It's, it's, what does it say? Or, no, it's just codes. Yeah. Um, full length Lunar Lana. Sammy Lee here. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's All weird. right. So um, this is literally like one to two millimeters thick so this shit doesn't do anything i mean it makes it a little bit better as in like step and comfort but whatever this is it still hurts really really bad um and it does not feel good landing and another thing is there is no heel to toe drop it doesn't feel like right so it's super flat and it feels really weird running in it because i'm so used to the um the what do you call it heel to toe drop mm -hmm. uh this is super flat so uh i wasn't used to it and it felt really weird walking and running and just playing in it so um you know i just wasn't used to it uh in part protection sucks i feel super low to the ground so there's that and it's responsive but you know you can do that with a full freaking rubber yeah. cushion. so cushion was absolutely horrendous even <laughs> with this thing all right thank you steven uh try for trying to kill me <laughs> All right, moving on to the upper. This is full grain leather. Is this synthetic? Yeah, it's synthetic. Yeah, there's some synth. Yeah, maybe it's all synthetic. This is a synthetic leather. Yeah, some parts are softer than others. Some it's, almost, some parts almost feel like a suede. It's dope because like this part is like a, a 3M. This part. Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't believe you. Well, it's kind of hard to see here, but it's 3M. You're lying, dog. Okay. Um, He's just jealous. <laughs> anyways. Uh, the materials, are, materials are no. Best you've ever had? Uh, no. Uh -huh. 
Um, best I ever had. Best I ever had. had. Uh, but um, yeah, but, uh, material is just synthetic leather, and it's just synthetic leather. I mean, it's not that nice. You know, once you break it in, it's, it's okay. But I mean, what are you gonna do? It's thick, um, cumbersome. It takes a long time to break in. Did I already say that? Yeah. Um, and it just it's uh, it's not well ventilated. Um, so no. Materials are not great. No. Uh, how does she fit? Is it seven and a half? Uh, Converse always fits long. Yes. And this does fit a little long. Mm. So there you go. Mm. But um, width is on the normal side. And yeah. Lockdown. It was good. Lockdown mm -hmm. was good. Uh, support was good. It was actually too good because this is really high and uh, I had absolutely no ankle mobility at all. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, this is like one of the best ankle supporting shoes I've ever had. It's really? kind of crazy. Like, I couldn't bend my ankle at all. <laughs> so, um, Hell yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, let's weigh this thing. I think these are going to be heaviest. Seven and a half. They feel, feel a little heavy. Yep. 14? 14.8. 14.8. Still not heavy, as heavy as these pieces of shit. Yep. And this came out like, what, 20 years prior? 15, 10, 15 years prior? Something whatever. like that. But whatever. Between uh, 5 and 20 years. Yes. Uh, all right, so yeah, it's a little heavy, and you definitely, I mean, I don't know, do you feel light on your feet? Uh, I mean, the cushion, yes, but the traction is not the best, so. No. Yeah. Okay. Um, ventilation? Hmm. It was really good, guys. Nice. Uh, I could feel the breeze through this, uh, you know, these little holes right here. Yeah, you see those holes? That's yeah, for breathability. That, that's, that's some next level shit. Yeah, there's 13 whole little holes on here, yes. so, you know. No, no, ventilation it is hot as fuck, you know. Right. Okay, uh, durability, yeah. Very, very good. It's a durable, it's an outdoor shoe, for sure. Um, and aesthetics, uh, pretty dope. I don't like Converse. I don't know if it's much, just I don't honest. either, but I, I think it's just the colorway. But I'm not mad at these. I don't like their star logo, the Converse star logo. Yeah. But I think they're pretty dope. I mean, I don't think that Air Jordans like look so much, but it looks a lot like Air Jordan One. Yeah. You know, to but be this honest. This is this is this came out first, right? Or did it not? I don't know. I don't know. Whatever it was. Um. So. Uh, huh. Wrapping things up. Wrapping things up. These were cheap. We don't know how much they were because they got sent to us. He said um, it was like 30 bucks. Yeah, this sounds about right. Does it still basketball? Yes, but that not sounded like very a question. Well. Uh, not very well, guys. Mm. I mean, are there, is that, is this stitching like, no, it's not, okay. Not but, really. um, is everything about the shoe is just off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was playing in it, it the materials were too stiff, the cushion sucked. My feet were hurting really bad. It was also really flat too. Traction was not the best. Materials suck. Uh, too much ankle support. Um, as in like, I, I, I had like no ankle mobility, so it was kind of like annoying to play in. Especially mm -hmm. when I was going off to shoot. Uh, I did a jump you know, for my jumper and then like, yeah, I, I couldn't like jump because you know, this part like didn't bend, mm -hmm. you know, so. Um, yeah, yeah. Actually, no. It doesn't really basketball, hmm. to be honest. I don't even know how people played in this shit, to be honest. All they had, boy. How did they play in this? Boy, that's all they had. I wonder how they would play in today's shoes, to be honest. They probably wouldn't. Even, they probably wouldn't even know what to do. Yeah. They would probably just suck. And they'd be like, Ugh, it's too nice. <laughs> too nice. <laughs> oh shit. But yeah, this is not basketball. As in, I absolutely hated playing in this. Thank you, Steven, for sending it over. Yep. But um, I think you hate me because you, you wanted me to suffer. Um, Shout outs for sending these over, though. That's dope. Yeah, that's, thank you. If you anybody awesome. else wants to send some, some crazy shit over, we'll try them out. Yes. Um, this is the Converse weapon. It does not steal basketball. Um, so that's it. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Soul Brothers later. Peace.